Yeshabian, please. So all, verse 17, in all the congregation of them, everybody within the congregation. Now, how do we start this off in Leviticus chapter 23? That all the generations may know. This was done from generation to generation to generation to generation to generation. That's how important this is to God. And it's supposed to be that important to us. It's supposed to remind us about our home. Remember what the Lord our God stated to us through the prophet David speaking in the Holy Spirit. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its come. You're supposed to be reminded that you are homeless. You ain't supposed to think Jamaica is your home. That's not your home. You ain't supposed to think America is your home. That's not your home. You ain't supposed to think Puerto Rico is your home. That's not your home. You're supposed to be thinking about Jerusalem. And until you get to Jerusalem, you have not made it back home. So during the time of the prophet Ezra, this is also es uh, Ezra that's written in the Apocrypha, same prophet, okay, Nehemiah, during their time, um, the children of Israel got back into the land. So read that one more time, verse 17. And all the congregation of them that will come again out of their captivity. Read on. Made boo. What did they do? Made boo. What did they do, everybody? Made boo. What did they do, everybody? Made boo. What did they do, everybody? Made boo. Did they go get a tent and set that up? Did they go break off some flimsy branches and put some shoestrings on it and set that up? What did they do? What did they do? Read on. And sat under the booth. And did what? Sat under the booth. Yeah, for eight days. They left their houses. Okay? In the book of Deuteronomy, let me take you to the book of Deuteronomy. In the book of Deuteronomy, the Lord called those houses goodly houses. When we got into the land, we wasn't playing, okay? You got, a, you got an area to set. And we like, this, this is yours, okay? Build. Yeah. And we ain't build, we ain't build booths at that time. We built, we built some houses. Do everybody understand that? Uh. All Israel came out of those houses. Those were some comfortable houses. Okay, Moses called them goodly houses. Right. And they had to come out them houses. They all that comfort and all that goodness for eight days and rough it in those booths to bring the remembrance back to the time that we were homeless. Okay, and why were we were home? We were homeless because of the nations, okay? We're gonna, the Lord gonna blame the nations. Y'all gonna see that too, he gonna blame the nations. He got us remembering this thing. He got, he got us remembering this thing. I remember when we didn't have a home and y'all was the only ones with land. Okay, we was strangers in your land, okay? The Lord, I mean, <laughs> he want us to remember that while we were walking around without a place to go, they was living in their comfort. Pyramids and <laughs> right now they gotta pay for that. They gotta pay for having a house. Right. Like, uh, that's that's called that's called racism for all y'all that don't know it. That's, you know, Esau taught us that very well. Okay, nigga got a piano. I ain't got a piano. <laughs> that nigga doing driving that car. I ain't got that. Car. They gonna have to pay for having houses when we didn't have none. Right. Let's go to the whole that, whole that and go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8. Let's get the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8. So again, also among all the high holy days, the Feast of Tabernacles is what? Is one of the high holy days that the Lord pointed out that all Israel had to appear before him and not appear before him empty. So again, this is showing you how um, high this high holy day is. Do everybody understand that? Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 7. We're going to start there. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 7. Read, for the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land. Yeah, Moses is telling them about the land that they're going to get. It's a good land, a land that's going to be our home. Read on. A land of brooks of water. Okay, it's going to have much water that the wilderness didn't have. Read on. Of fountains Come on. and depths that spring out of valleys and hills. Come on. A land of wheat. Come on. And barley. Come on. And vines. Come on. And fig trees. Come on. And pomegranates. A land filled with things to eat, not just manna. Everybody see that? Sure. Read on. A land of oil, olive. Come on. And honey. Come on. A land wherein thou Thou shalt eat bread Read on. without scarcity. Yeah, we ain't gonna be one time we hungry. In the wilderness, the Lord suffered us to hunger. Everybody understand this? Uh. So this is supposed to be the moment when you go back into the booths, that's what you're supposed to be remembering, the hardship. When you were homeless, when you didn't have all the good things that the Lord our God is providing for you once we get back into the land. Read on. Thou shalt not like anything in it. Okay, read on. 
And a land whose stones are iron. It's filled with resources, okay? Iron was like stones, um, as plenty as his stones. Read on. And out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. Read on. When thou hast eaten and art full. Read on. Then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he have given thee. Read on. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God. Okay, before you add all this, how the Lord our God protected us, how he gave us a dwelling uh, out there among those elements. Um, and those elements was, okay, okay, 40 years, okay? 40 years, that's four seasons every year, okay? That's the summer dealing with the heat. That's the winter dealing with the cold. Do everybody understand that? For 40 years, these structures protected us. Read on. And not keeping his commandments. Come on. And his judgments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Come on. Lest when thou hast eaten and are full. Come on. And hast built goodly houses. And has done what? Built goodly houses. So see, when we get into the land, we're going to have a nice place to stay, okay? I mean, it ain't going to be one person that ain't got a nice place to stay. You're going to be visiting a, a brother and a sister. You're going to be like, this is nice. This is nice. They're going to come visit you. Like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. Like the Lord blessed you. Yeah. Then once a year, you're going to have to leave. This is nice. <laughs> and go into that booth, okay? All 20 of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and remember how it was right. when you didn't have all of that. That is nice. Which the Lord is yet to give the nation of Israel that's been in captivity in spiritual Egypt. But he gave it to these Israelites that was in captivity in ancient Babylon. They got delivered. They back in the land. They came from captivity. They built their goodly houses. This is what Moses is saying. Let's finish this verse. Read it one more time. Tell them what verse you in. Verse 12. Read. Lest when thou hast eaten and are full and hast built goodly houses. And has done what? Built goodly houses. Read on. And dwelt therein. Read on. And when thy herds and thy flocks multiply. And you got plenty. Read on. And thy silver and thy gold is multiplied. And you got plenty. Read on. And all that thou hast is multiplied. And all that thou hast is multiplied. This is what happened when you have your own. Mm. When you living among the enemy, they don't want to see this right. because the more you get, that's the less for them. Right, right. So you have to understand that conspiracies is in place for you not to excel mm. because the more you take from this land, the less they have for themselves and them children. So they put things in place to make sure you cannot exceed. Mm. But when you get into uh, succeed, but when you get into your own land, you can succeed. The Lord is going to bless you. Do everybody understand that? Sure. Verse 14. Then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt come on. from the house of bondage. That's where the saying comes from. Don't forget where you come from. Mm -hmm. Don't forget um, the, the past. Okay, the scripture says in prosperity. Okay, remember poverty. That's what the Bible says. That's the word of God. Don't forget how it was. When you see how it is, and the Lord done blessed you, because the Lord, even when it was bad, he was still protecting you. He was still taking care of you. He was still covering you. Read on. Who led thee, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness? Read on. We're in were fiery serpents. Okay, we mentioned elements. We didn't even mention the animals that was out there. Okay, you get to go in the booth and close the door as a bear's approaching, okay? <laughs> you thank the Lord for that booth then. Right. When with fiery serpents, read on. And scorpions. And scorpions, read on. And drought. And drought, read on. Where there was no water. Come on. Who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint. Come on. Who fed thee in the wilderness with manna. Come on. Which thy father knew not. Come on. That he might humble thee. Manna was angels' food. It was food. Bread that came down from heaven. Okay, that's why the fathers knew it not. Read on. That he might humble thee and that he might prove thee. To do thee good at that latter end. Okay, to do thee good at that latter end. Read on. And thou say in thine heart, my power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. Once we get in the land and is very successful. Read on. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. It is what? He that giveth thee power to get wealth. It is the Lord our God that giveth thee power to get wealth. Read on. That he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. Read on. And it shall be, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God and walk after other gods 
and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish as the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face. So shall ye perish because you would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. Okay, everybody see that, right? Oh. So we went there to show that when we got into the land that we were in some pretty nice houses. We were in goodly houses, okay? So again, that's the purpose of you know, again, remembering how things was in the Feast of Tabernacles and building those booths and leaving your houses for those eight days to bring you back to the way things was and how the Lord, we still appreciated that because that still protected us. Let's go back to the book of Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah. Chapter 8. And let's go back to verse 17. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 17. Read. And all the congregation of them that will come again out of the captivity made booths. Read on. And sat under the booths. And did what? Sat under the booths. Read on. For since the days of Jeshua, the son of Nun. That's Joshua, okay, the, uh, that was under Moses. Since the days of Joshua, the son of Nun. Read on. Unto that day had not the children of Israel done so. Read on. And there was very great gladness. Okay, and there was very great, great gladness. So since the days of Joshua, that was not done. Okay, again, um. The world going to tell you that they didn't keep the Feast of Tabernacles. What did the Lord say? The Lord said that the generations may know that they're supposed to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. So what was, what was, um, that, that had not happened since the days of Joshua. What was going on in the days of Joshua? The days of Joshua, Israel was coming out of Egypt. Right. They didn't have a home. They were homeless. They were in the wilderness for 40, day, uh, 40 years. And then Joshua, it was, it's called the conquest of Canaan. They conquered the land of Israel. And when they got into the land out of coming out of captivity, that's when they celebrated the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, that wasn't done since the days of Joshua. The first captivity, again, that they came back into the land from was the Babylonian captivity. So that's what was not done since the days of Joshua. But was Solomon keeping the Feast of Tabernacles? Yes, he was. Was David keeping the Feast of Tabernacles? Yes, he was. Was all the kings keeping the Feast of Tabernacles? Yes, they was, because they were in the land. What had hadn't happened since the days of Joshua was that everybody was taken out of the land and was in captivity and was allowed to come back in. That did not happen since the days of Joshua. Do everybody understand that? Sure. Everybody got that? Sure. Let's get the book of 1 Kings chapter 8. The book of 1 Kings chapter 8. And since then... It hasn't happened up until what's getting ready to happen right now. This is going to be the next generation that do that, which Ezra's did and which Joshua did. Coming out of captivity and coming back into the land. 